Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Poss and I want to show you how to pull table data out of a PDF. So a lot of times when uh, you have finished products, um, what you wind up doing is sending them out as a PDF. It's just an easier format for someone to view. But um, on the flip side of that, sometimes you'll get information in the same way where someone has made it up and it's passed to you in a PDF. Now, when you try to click and drag a table from a PDF, as I'm doing here, and copy it, when you get over to Excel and you try to paste it, it comes out in a format where it's all in one uh, column. Sometimes I see it all in the top row. Um, either way, copying and pasting from a PDF does not work that well. So what um, the easier way to do it is to save your PDF and uh, pull the table straight out of there. So looking at uh, the PDF, a random one I pulled, uh, Crime in Texas 2020. Um, you kind of start s sifting through. We got the table of contents, a couple other pages. Let's say this first table is the one we want. You see it's on page uh, four of this document. So this Texas crime by uh, or crime rate by offense. Um, this is what we tried to copy and paste earlier and work right. So what we're going to do is go back into Excel and we're going to look um, up at the tabs here. It's on the data tab. Um, there's quite a few different places to get and transform data. Uh, the one we're going to look at here is this get data uh, drop down. So you see there's there's several uh, things you could do here from different types of sources. Um, this top option from file has a couple of sources within it as well. This is where we're going to find the from PDF. So this is the one specifically for uh, importing data out of a PDF document. So once we click on that, it'll go to where you might have saved your document. I've got it saved uh, in here and this is uh, the navigator that pulls up. So since this is a long document, it's, it's searching uh, quite a lengthy PDF. So it's pulling up everything that looks like a table to it. Now, if you notice, like at the beginning, there was a table of contents. It didn't look like it was in a table format necessarily, um, but it read it as, as one, uh, but that's not the one we're looking for. So page two, um, or table two, sorry, it's, it shows it right here, page four. So when you find the page that, uh, the document or the table is on specifically it'll come up in here so this is the one we we're looking at um, and you can see how it's putting it into a table right now now you see it'll have some weird formatting there let's go ahead and, and load and it'll load it into um, the page you're on there so it's calculating it out and once it pops up here you can see the formatting is going to be um, a little a little weird it looks like a normal uh, table it, when you when you uh, insert a table into an Excel sheet, it's going to uh, already have it formatted with the color and everything like that. So one thing I've learned with this, um, it doesn't always come in perfect. So from the the original table that was a different color, like the totals line, uh, property crime total, some of these totals were were in different colors. What you're going to have to do for some of this is um, change this table itself. You're going to go up to the, the table design tab and you're going to convert it to a range. Um, what this does, it'll keep the same format here, but what it does, it'll allow you to change certain things. Um, it'll allow you to delete certain headers there and you can reformat, merge and center, things like that. Um, and if you want to redo the, the color scheme and everything, you can. Uh, however you want and if you wanted to be at a table again once you have it all formatted formatted the way you want you can um, highlight it all again and um, go to the insert tab and make it a table again um, I'm not gonna do that for the purposes here but uh, so you can see as opposed to trying to copy and paste and click and drag on a PDF document the the easier way to do it is just to go to that data tab and, and um, have Excel do the work of finding it and reading it as a table and inserting it as such. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more click like and subscribe below. Next video coming up is connecting access queries to Excel.